there was an issue with a resident where he felt as though he didn't have confidence and he felt as though he wasn't being received well from other residents for whatever reason. And we sat here in my room and talked for about two hours at 1 a.m. in the morning, because that's when he called me, talking about, like, he wants somebody to really talk to, like, somebody he needs to hear from. So I'm listening to him. I'm just trying to give him motivation, like, hey, bro, like, I've been in your shoes before. I already know how you feel. Like, you just got to keep going, because he was actively ongoing trying to do a show. And I said, you got to keep going with the show, like, no matter what, like, as long as you know that you're doing fine. Everything will be all right in the end. And then later on, he ended up winning the entire pageant. Shout out Micah Holmes, Mr. Zeta Phi Beta. But, yes, like, Mr. Zeta Phi Beta was at one point about to drop out of the whole pageant because he didn't feel like anybody believed in him. And I'm glad that I could be one of the people that told him, like, listen, bro, you got to stop thinking about what other people are saying to you and just focus on what you think because in the end, as long as you know, the only time was... When the resident felt comfortable letting me know that he wanted to commit suicide, I felt like that was a very, like, very pivotal moment because it made me realize how trustworthy I am to these people. I really like helping people, and I'm, I'm really happy that people feel as though they can call on me at a time of need, feeling so open and vulnerable to giving me such sensitive information, no matter knowing that I'm already knowing that. I might report that still feeling like you can confide in me is something that I really cherish. And like how I treat my residents is like my big brother. Like I don't want to be just some authoritative figure. That's why these people feel like they can talk to me whenever they want to about whatever they want to talk to. Cause I don't ever want to overstep. Another situation is. How did you handle the suicide situation? I mean, we talked about it. I heard his feelings. We reported it to the right people that could help. But at the same time, not only just reporting, just like following up, checking up, having those personal meetings, with meeting with the resident, just talking and following up. Like, hey, how was your day? Like, hey, like, what did you do today? Making recommendations. Like, hey, there's an event that you could go to that might benefit you. Hey, like, maybe you should go to this because you might get network. Just certain things, like just keeping their head on track. Like, still not being in their bubble like a parent, but still, like, putting a bird in their ear, like, hey, there's other things you can do. How is the person doing now? They're doing pretty well. Like, they're they're just driving, but, you know, mental health is something that you can't really put, like, a, a set thing on. But, you know, he's, he's doing better than where he was. And you just continue to follow up with them? Yeah, sure. Okay. There, I don't want to overstep, you know. Okay. Also, just dealing with other people in professional settings is something that already has taught me. Like, you know, you're not going to get along with everybody that you work with. And that's fine. But making sure that you're keeping it professional in front of the residents and keeping everything in-house when there is problems, I feel like that's a very mature thing that our rate job has taught me how to do. Also, just dealing with other people in professional settings is something that already has taught me. Like, you know, you're not going to get along with everybody that you work with. And that's fine. But making sure that you're keeping it professional in front of the residents and keeping everything in-house when there is problems, I feel like that's a very mature thing that our rate job has taught me how to do. Like, working with different people that have different ideas, contacting and working and networking other RAs, different buildings to make events happen, make certain things happen, even if it seems challenging, you know, my teamwork skills has gone up. Okay. Anything else? I like doing events for the RA. I mean, doing events for my sweet E building due to the fact that it helps me have a sense of family. I feel as though it's very important to have a sense of home when you're away from home. And a lot of these residents are all from different walks of life and bringing them all together in different events that cater to them, not just some events that are school related, just conversational. Like I had an event where we talk about healthy relations and mental health and different things. And it was really nice. Like just having different people explain why they think, this, think a certain way or why they do things a certain way. Just was really good to help other people meet new people, but also hear new ideas and new approaches. So. Okay.
earlier in the semester, there was a situation where a resident was barricading himself in the room, and I was involved because I was in the hallway at the, at the same time of it going on. This is why I say being actually available in the building and making it known that you're in the building, like doing rounds, walking around the building, is very important because you pick up on things that you wouldn't know. So I'm walking past the door and I see this kid trying to get in his room and he's trying to open the door forcefully. He can't get in because it's barricaded up against the room. And like, just putting yourself and asserting yourself, like, hey, like, what's going on here? Like, is everything okay? Like, and then the situation just went from there. Like, the kid made it known that he was nervous and that he only wanted to talk to me one on one. We took it there, listened to what he had to say. Then we contacted UPD by his request, like just following what the residents say, you know, when you deal with hostile people, you don't really want to do anything that can put other people in danger. So you just, you feel me, meet them in the middle somewhere. So you bring the UPD up. So UPD come and we hand it over to them. But just being there, making sure that the residents don't feel like you're like betraying them, like making them feel like you're actually doing something that's bettering them, not just trying to better you or do your job. Everything worked out. He calmed down. He moved his room. And I think he's going way better now. Police was walking back, and we saw that there was an ambulance in front of suites and the police running in there. So me and my police ran up the steps, following behind the UPD officers. And we just went to the room and tried to make sure everything was secured. Stood there while we waited for a response from the medical team to let us know what was going on. Assisting... UPD and the medical people when they arrived and making sure Ms. Copeland was aware of it. I really feel like bragging about the stuff that you do in a job isn't what being already is about. It's just about handling business, like making sure the building's moving fine and everybody's safe. Okay. Thank you. Sweet F and Pride. Um, I'm an asset to this building due to the fact that I can get along with a lot of people and a, bar- a varying amount of people, varying personalities. And at the same time, I'm also was really good here. Like, I help foster the community in suites. Like, everybody here is under, I mean, underclassmen. I, I get along with people that are young. They look at me as an older brother figure. I helped come up with the events in this building. I worked really well with most of the people, and I got along with my housing director. I also feel as though me fostering a community in a co-ed building says a lot about getting along with not only the different male residents in this building, but the different females in this building, all coinciding, like just getting along with everybody. I feel as though I wouldn't be the best fit. I should be picked to be an all rate because if you want an all rate that actively listens, that's actively present, that listens to the HD, that abides by all the rules and really is there for the residents and care for the well being of the residents, then you will want me to be on your set. I get along with every housing director. I get along with everybody, like I said. And if you don't have somebody that can be the glue, in the midst of all the rabble, then what does your team really have? You can't have too many cooks in the kitchen anyway. I'm, I'm really good at being able to be a leader and a follower. You just made that decision. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old past said. Boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got 
trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything but what do we do for you? We stick together, see it through, cause you got a friend with me. You got a 